What's up everybody? I uh, just wanted to jump on here today for a brief little moment to teach you guys a quick little uh, blues lick. Hey Alexander, how's it going? And uh, yeah, uh, you know I did this a couple of days ago. I used to do this like a lot and um, playing around with the thought of um, doing more of these licks live streams for you guys. So just like a, you know, a quick little uh, tutorial on a lick and just a little hang, you know. Uh, really enjoyed it the other day and uh, just thought I would do it again today. So I picked a little lick to teach you guys. So. It's like. It's like an intro lick to a slow blues jam. It's very slow actually, it's like 42 uh, beats per minute, a 12-8 uh, type of thing. If you wanna hear the jam, if you wanna jump out the jam track, it's linked below. Uh, the link comes from a full solo, um, and uh, the, the full tab for that is linked below as well. You know, if you wanna um, go crazy and learn the whole thing, uh, the tab's in my you know library of licks and lessons on Patreon. So. <laughs> Uh, we are in B minor, okay, so I'm using ba basically the B minor pentatonic scale and, you know, the B minor blue scale. And um, that's how it goes. I'm going to count it in for you guys and uh, just go through every little fingering and, uh, and so forth. Uh, if you've uh, just tuned in and you like this kind of thing, please leave a like on the video uh, to let me know. And uh, also... Uh, you know, if blues improvisation, blues licks, that kind of thing is your thing, then I am also doing my blues course. Uh, it starts on Sunday, this Sunday. Uh, it's basically like eight lessons uh, designed to just really go deep on blues guitar improvisation. Uh, it's designed to help you, you know, find your voice and really um, develop your vocabulary as a as an improviser and as a blues guitarist. Um, I've done it twice before. Uh, first did it in 2021, then I did it again in 2022, and now I'm doing it here in 2023. So uh, check it out, it's linked below if you wanna uh, see if that might be something you wanna jump on. Uh, it was loads of fun the two other times that I did it. It was just such a joy. And um, you know, if you can't make the actual live sessions, it, the whole thing is recorded. So, you know, you can do it in your own time and catch up whenever you, you have time to do each lesson. So, yeah, check it out. It's linked below. And uh, let's jump into the lick. So, like I said, it's quite a slow uh, blues. It's um, a 12-8, so like one and a two and a three and a four and a that kind of thing. So we basically start, uh, well, just before the, the three with a pickup note here, uh, just an open B string. Like I said, we're in B minor. So our first note is just a quick open B like this. You can pick it by going up if you like. That's how I like to do it. And, um, and then you play the ninth fret here with your third finger on the G string. Okay, that note lands on three. So basically, one and a two and a three. Okay, that's how it starts. Let me play the whole thing for you so you get a feel of um, the lick in itself. 
the whole thing. So one and a two and a three. So it's like an like an intro lick, a lick you could play into the start of a song or the start of a solo, whatever you like. Okay, so one and uh, two and uh, three, four, one. Let's do that again. One and uh, two and uh, three, four, one. Okay. One more time. One and uh, two and uh, three, four, one. All right, so that's the lick itself, okay? Um, also, if you've um, been here before, you know I love to hear where people are from, so leave a, a comment or, or uh, in the chat or on the video afterwards uh, to say where you're from. I love to hear where people are from in the world. It's just such an inspiration to me. I love that, that inspires me. So always fun to hear. All right, so let's jump in. So open B and then that note here, the E. Now you're gonna bend that. You're gonna bend it all the way up to eleven. Okay, and of course you want to get behind that third finger with your second finger and also to a degree the first finger okay you got to make sure that you know you're supporting the bend like that if you're doing it just with the one finger you know it causes a lot of strain and you don't have a lot of um, control right there so so that's it from 9 to 11 then you're gonna play 7 7 with your first finger you're gonna roll like that and a picking wise I actually like to go down 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 for that it's a classic blues lick right so that's your start phrase and I'm going up down 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 that's your start phrase Pull off from um, 10 to 7 on the B string, like that. I'm using my little finger here, pulling off to the first finger. You can use your third finger if you like. I just uh, use my little finger a lot, so I'm doing that here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to that. E note there on the um, ninth fret of the G string, and uh, um, I'm gonna give it a half step bend up to that note there. So that that's the blue scale, right? That's the blue note. <laughs> okay, so half step up, then come down, play the note again pull off to seven and then land on nine the B note there on the ninth fret of the D string okay so just try that little move also you'll notice that I'm pulling it down rather than you know pushing it up either works just fine produces the same result yeah if you pull it up you know the pitch goes up. If you pull it down, the pitch goes up. So, same thing. So, that was... Um, and then, you just have this left. So, um, a hammer-on from um, 7 to 9. Now, here I'm actually shifting my positioning a little bit because I'm going to use uh, the, the first finger and hammer-on to my second finger. Now, normally, you know, you, you could have used your third finger and then the little finger down there, but I just kind of decided to to get into this mode where I'm using my third finger uh, down here for, for what's coming next, you know, so I was anticipating that. Okay, so um, hammer on from seven to nine. So that's all that happens during beat three now we just have beat four 
left um, of that um, first bar there. So um, you got that's that. Okay. The rest of it. That's what's um, left of that bar there. And, uh, you know, it's just the B minor pentatonic scale. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. As I mentioned at the start, you know, the, the, the jam track for this, if you want to, you know, get, get uh, experimenting with it, it's linked below. Also, the, the full tab is linked below as well. And uh, yeah, let's 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 look at this last one here. So I'm going into like a triplet feel here. One and a two and a three and a. Oh yeah. So it's 10 on the B string, back to 7, uh, back to 9 uh, rather on the G string, and then uh, it's um, 7, 7 on the uh, B string and G string. So I'm putting down a bar here so that, so, so that I can roll um, across those two strings. So when I play the, the uh, F sharp note there on the B string, I'm already ready to let go of it, but uh, and then play the, um, the the D note here on the G string by simply just rolling ever so slightly like that. And what I'm going to do with the G note, well, is uh, give it a little bit of a bluesy, uh, you know, quarter step bend. Just adds so much more like vibe and you know dirt and grit and uh, and bluesiness to the to the scenario right so um we're gonna bend it up a quarter step right there so rather than you know bending it all the way up you know uh, 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 to the next fret you know a half step we're just bending it halfway there which is a quarter step bend so Okay, and then we just walk down the um, <clears throat> B minor pentatonic scale. So um, nine, seven, nine, slide down, and then five. Okay. As always, when you're learning a lick like this, you know, I highly recommend that you kind of isolate each bit. And then also, you know, if there's certain bits that you really like more than others, you know, just use those, you know, go to town on a jam track, just practicing that one bit that you like. Like that, you know, if that's the one uh, or, or, you know, just, just that. Or, or, you know. Another part of it would be um, that's also a part of the lick. So yeah, isolate little things and then play around with them individually. That way you can really mold licks into your playing vocabulary and um, and really you know see your your voice and your your ability as a musician and, and a, as an improviser you know uh, go up like or. or expand and, and like um, give you more uh, opportunities to you know go new places when you're improvising if you have you know lots of little um, pathways like that that you've created so all right now finally we're just gonna slide from um, seven up to nine the B note and we're gonna add some vibrato you know pull it down like that again supporting it as if you were doing a bend like that right and then finally we get we're gonna do this little gritty double stop just seven and seven on the G string and B string and again we're gonna add a little bit of a quarter step bend you know if we were just doing this 
that's all right, but do that and it just has so much more like blues feel. And the same with the vibrato, you know, say if you were doing this. Make it sing and then give it that little bend. Makes all the difference, you know, you can make simple phrases, simple, you know, notes sound just so right and, and, and so uh, meaningful, you know, if you add those little things like vibrato and, you know, quarter step bends, um, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, and also, you know, the contour of your phrases is, is um, influenced very much by what kind of legato combinations you're doing. So that's an, another thing, you know, if you were picking every note, that's all good. But if you use legato in a, in, in a certain way, you can make the, the, the kind of rhythmic contour of your phrase is much more interesting. So uh, I think about these kinds of things a lot. And uh, yeah, it's the kind of stuff that I get into as well on my course that I mentioned earlier, that's uh, linked below. Um, you know, I love this kind of thing and, uh, and I love digging, digging deep into it. So, um, so there we go. Uh, that was that lick. So one and uh, two and uh, three. <laughs> So a little opening lick for a slow blues in B minor. One and uh, two and uh, three, four, one. And then as always, you know, when you've learned a lick, of course, try to, of course, uh, this one starts with uh, an open B string. So it's a little hard to um, um, transpose to other keys. But let's say that you just leave out the first note, that one. You could also play it a different way. Like that, for example. Um, but let's uh, assume that uh, we just leave that one out. Now let's try it in a different key. Let's try it in, in A minor, you know, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, you know, C. to like move the licks around in other keys, see how they feel. They'll probably spark some other like ways of getting into them or out of them and like spark, spark some, some new like connections and, and ideas uh, when you do that. So it's really worthwhile, you know, taking your time to like transpose any lick into other keys. So there we go, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little snippet right there. Um, I was thinking that I will have a quick look at my computer here, see where in the world that you guys uh, are today. And um, I mean, I could do a little, should I do a, maybe I'll do a quick little um, vibe in B minor. Um, then I'll, uh, you know, if you guys have any, any questions, uh, ask me those. Uh, anything about the course, anything about these licks here, uh, let me know. Let me just set up a quick little loop. Um,
So just a little bit of a of a jam here um, today. Uh, let me see um, what you guys are saying here. So um, just log into the stream here. You know, uh, here we go. Keith is here. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, from Malaysia. Malaysia is in the house. I love it. Greece, Michigan. Two people from Michigan. Love it. Very cool. <laughs> All right, Adam. Sounds good. Um, the quarter step bend on the D note is to get a B major bluesy effect. Nice. Uh, yes, that is uh, correct. Um, it's just like, you know, even when you're in a, in a minor key, it's works just fine to bend that minor third like uh, a quarter step bend a quarter step up you know because it's it just adds it's something that you know you would you would think that you would only do in a major key when you're like bending it up towards the major third but it totally works in a minor vibe as well listen to like you know eric clapton for example like he does that a whole lot he'll do it in a minor key he'll do it in a major key it's it's like, you know, it just works um, if you do it with feeling, you know, that's the thing about blues, like, it doesn't have to be, like, theoretically correct always, it just really does not, it's about feeling, and, you know, there's certain um, things like that, concepts like, like that, you know, bending a quarter step, um, bending the minor third a quarter step, even if it's a minor blues, things like that, that's like, you know, rule breaking, but it's super common, it's like literally a blues lick to do that so yeah that's the that's the power of the blues um awesome yes there is a little bit of uh, hendrix influence uh, in there um i love i love hendrix um so rajas says is the bend on the b note to get the c note which is uh seventh of d so uh, the bend on the B note? Is there a bend on a B note? Um, so, the only thing that is like a bend is, is that one uh, on the B note here. Uh, and, and it's not so much a bend as just, you know, vibrato. Like that. So, technically, you know, it's kind of a bend because it goes up and down like that, but it's really just vibrato. It's just making the note um, sing just like that. Um, super important to like get that singy kind of vibe from, from your notes. Um, Holland in the house as well. Appreciate it, Axel. Um, all right, so I'm gonna uh, log off now, but uh, like I said, if you wanna uh, practice this lick or, or any kind of licks uh, like this one, Hit up the jam track that's literally made for this. And uh, if you want to get the tab, you know, for the full solo, it's down there as well. And like I said, on Sunday, uh, we kick off my eight-week blues guitar improvisation course. Uh, I made this with um, the people at, on Reddit, the, uh, the subreddit called Today I Learned. And um, 
uh, we've done it two times before and it's been absolutely fantastic. Just really loved like connecting with so many people on on this topic and in this kind of way. So I hope that you will uh, consider joining us uh, when we do it all again starting this Sunday. Check it out. Uh, it's linked below. That's all. Thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it very much. And I will see you very soon. Actually, uh, on Saturday, I'm going to uh, drop a new jam track. So uh, stay tuned for that. I hope you will enjoy that one. Uh, also a slow blues, actually. Love my slow blues. <clears throat> um, I just always have loved a slow blues like that. So I put out uh, quite a lot of those because it's fun. There we go, guys. Have a uh, great um, few days and I'll see you uh, on Saturday for another track. All the best. Bye.